let us talk about linked lists in this video. So what is a linked list? Well, a linked list is a collection of objects which are linked together in a sequence. This figure is an example of a linked list. So we have a collection of four objects which are linked together in a sequence, which means that there is a sequence to these numbers. In other words, I can say that after the number 5, after the object 5 comes 15, then comes 1, then comes 9. Now, if you remember, an array is also a collection of objects, although the objects are not linked together. So a linked list is kind of similar to an array. We'll know the differences. But why do we need a linked list? Well, because arrays have limitations and linked lists kind of remove those limitations. So one limitation of an array is that there is a fixed size to an array. In case of linked list, there is no fixed size. Now, whenever you declare array, you have to give a size to it so that the compiler reserves that much amount of memory for your array. In case of linked list, you don't need to do this because objects are linked and we'll see how objects are linked in the next few slides. Now, another limitation of array is that it is costly to add new elements in between. In case of linked list, we don't have such a problem. Now, what do you mean by it is costly to add new elements in between? Well, for example, if you have this array where you have three elements and if you have to insert a number three in between these three elements. So if you have to insert three in place of four, you need to shift down four and nine. So it is kind of costly to add new elements in a specific positions if there is already some element there. Now, a linked list is a collection of objects. We usually call these objects as nodes. So it is basically a collection of nodes. Now, what does a node contain? A node has two parts. One part is data and another part is link. We need this because we need to have some way to tell us what is the next node, who is the neighbor of a current node. So we have a node which has data and a link. Now the link points to the next node, which again has data and the link to the next node and so on. Now you might be wondering what does the last node point to? Well, the last node points to nothing because there's no node after that. And then we need something to go to the first node. So we have a pointer to the first node or a link to the first node, which is called as the head. So in order to get to a particular element, in a linked list, you use the head, you start with the head and then you traverse to that particular node. Now, what are the operations you perform on a linked list? Well, I just said traverse. So traversing is one of the operations you perform on a linked list. Traversing means going to a particular node or for example, I can say that read the value of the third node. So it would involve traversing to the third node and getting the value of that node. So how do you traverse? We'll see in the next videos. Another operation is appending a node. That means adding a node to the end of the list. Prepending a node means adding a node to the start of the list. And then there is an operation which allows us to insert a node at a particular position. And of course, deleting a node. So that was a little bit about linked list. Next, we will see how linked lists are organized in memory.